morning. We're here with Nick Stopler and Jori Havik, uh, two Dutchmen. Guys, uh, six-day racing uh, has been in your blood. I, I know uh, Jori, your uncle raced, uh, your, your cousin was out there watching yesterday. Can you explain a little bit about that? Yeah, they are five and seven now and they understand it more and more and uh, it's fun if they uh, look at you and they say, ah, you have to win, why don't you win? And uh, It's the same as me when I was uh, young, when I was uh, maybe three or four years, I did watch uh, my uncle and then I said, uh, why did you not win? Uh, yeah, you have to race faster and uh, it's fun like that. And your uncle, uh, Danny Stam, uh, you, you raced with him as well on the track at one point when you started racing? Uh, yeah, when I started racing, he just teached me everything and uh, I trained a lot with him. And I only did uh, one race with him, uh, his last time in Rotterdam here. And uh, we got third then and that was a great experience. Now, uh, Nick's experience started at Rotterdam in 2005 when his dad brought him to watch the six-day race. Nick, wh what did you see in 2005 and, and how did that build this passion? Well, I didn't know much about the six days at all at that time. I was riding on the road and not riding that much, you know, a young rider. And my uh, dad had a, his company had, a, you know, a lodge there and he took some business relations. And I could go with my brother as well and we watched the race whole night. And it was just amazing to see those guys and the speed and the skills they had. And just watching, you know, Bruno Risi closely and Danny Stam and Slippens and you know, see how they do it. And I got so fascinated about it that, you know, I wanted to, to make my profession. Uh, yeah. And so when you raced Rotterdam for the first time, it must have been kind of an experience going from that childhood dream to, to realizing it. Yeah, it's incredible. And last year we became third. So yeah, that was just an incredible experience. And uh, Yuri, do, do you feel any pressure to carry on the, the family tradition? I mean, to perform and win? No, they don't put uh, pressure on me. Uh, if someone does it, it's myself. You always want to show your best, and sometimes if your best is not like you uh, want it, not so good, then it's only yourself uh, who puts pressure on yourself. Now, you guys are improving and improving throughout this race. What are your goals for this season and then, and then onwards for the next seasons? We'll do uh, Bremen together, uh, and then uh, yeah, we, we hope to get uh, to do, do better than uh, than here, and uh, we'll see from there. Yeah, if we do it better than here, then it's okay. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks for joining us.